What's going on everyone? Matesh here and guys, today we are checking out a brand new budget smartphone. This right here is the TCL 20S. It is a $250 smartphone that is actually packing quite a few amazing specs. This right here is actually kind of a spiritual successor to the TCL 10L, which came out here in the United States last year. There's actually a TCL 20L, but it is not coming out in the United States. But the 20S is actually a pretty close approximation to that one, so that's what we have here. I'm not really sure why they decided to go this way, but it really doesn't matter. The 20S is what we have in the United States. And in today's video, we're gonna do a quick little unboxing for this phone, see what you guys get inside of this for $250, see what the specs are, and compare a little bit with its predecessor to the TCL 10L because there are some interesting changes that they made and I'm really just curious to see what this phone is like. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing. So let's just go ahead and turn this box over. We have, let's just go ahead and go through the little bit of the box right here. The TCL 20L. Uh, the t sorry, TCL 20S. So it's got a 64 megapixel camera, 6.67 inch LCD full HD display. The LCD part is of course expected at this price point, but it would have been nice to see OLED, but still. Uh, we do have SDR to HDR conversion. Now this is something interesting because this year they've actually uh, made it much better than they had last year on the TCL 10L. Uh, this year is supposed to handle skilled skin tones much, much better, which is something that I honestly had problems with. Um, it's also got a 16 megapixel selfie camera, and then it's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. You guys, 5,000 milliamp hours on this phone, and that's amazing. Like, I expect this phone to have, like, amazing battery life. Uh, where is my knife? All right, got my knife, so let's get to unboxing. So we've got two little tape here on the side. We'll go ahead and cut through those. Done, and let's go ahead and get this phone out of the box. All right, so first things first, of course, we have a little box full of the books. Ooh, and and an included case. You guys, there's a case included with this phone. Like, that's awesome. I really didn't expect this because the TCL 10L did not come with a case included. So it's really nice to see the 20S, they did decide to include the case here. It is one of those thin TPU cases, but it will suffice until you can get yourself a better case. So that's really nice to see. And of course we have the uh, booklets, which I am never gonna look into. And then right underneath that, we have the phone right here in this uh, paper packaging. Oh, there's a nice pull tab here as well. Ooh, that is a big, big phone. We'll check that out here in a second because you know what we get inside this box that we don't get inside of other phones like flagship phones. We get a charger. So first of all, we have the USB-A to USB-C cable, I believe. Yeah, that is their standard USB-A to USB-C cable. And then look at this. Look at this. It's a freaking wall adapter. Like, let's see. And we'll just double check what the speeds are. So this thing can do up to 15 watts. So... Uh, it's a relatively good fast charger as well. That's awesome. First of all, TCL, including this at $250, where it's more expensive if smartphones can include it at $1,000, is uh, amazing. Let's go ahead and just close this up. We'll get all this out of the way, and then we'll go to the phone itself. I'll keep the case just so I can put it on there. So we've got this nice, actually, paper. It's got you a pretty nice feeling. We can just, okay, I'm just going to slide the phone out this way. So this right here is the TCL 20S, and first impressions first, like this back, definitely plastic, but is way, way, way nicer than this black, which is like this glossy plastic that always gets fingerprints on it real quick. This is like this matte glossy plastic that I even got this little bit of a color change effect you can see the way the light hits it, and it feels worlds better than the 10L did. So that's kind of exciting. And in terms of dimensions, these two are relatively the same, but you can see the 20S is a little bit taller. Uh, we do have quad cameras on the back and the main one is of course, again, that 64 megapixel sensor. Um, that's the regular wide. There is an ultra wide camera on here also, which is really, really nice to see at this price point. And then there's two additional cameras, but I'm not 100% sure what they do. I think they're like a macro and a telephoto or something like that. Um, we've got over here on the side, we've got a power button, which I think is also a, um, a fingerprint reader, which once again, awesome placement. Like I'm really glad they decided not to do in display fingerprint reader because that's just, it's not done well at this price point. Uh, and then we've got the volume rocker on this side. And then also on the right side or left side, we have the, um, smart key, which is a fantastic little button. And I see that this year they've not made it the exact opposite. So over on this phone, it's almost exactly the opposite. So if you hit, 
you almost always accidentally hit one or both of those buttons, like the smart key and the power button. But on this phone, because of the way they're placed, you're likely not going to have that happen. So let's just go ahead and power this phone on. Okay, holding on the power button, I hear the buzz. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and also put this inside of the case, just so we can see what it's like. So yeah, the case fits pretty nicely on top of it. Not much protection at all, honestly, I would say. There is a little bit of lip protection, but you're gonna want to get yourself a better case than this. I would not trust this case too much, so get yourself a better case. But uh, like I said, be much better than the TCL 10L not including it. Um, once the LCD, dis this is an LCD display. This is like really good black levels. Like I am not able to, oh wait, no, I can see it. It takes a bit, but this is actually pretty good deep blacks for an LCD display. I'm actually pretty impressed because this phone, the LCD display on this one, not as good. But this one seems a lot better. Like maybe you guys can tell. It's really kind of hard to see, right? So, okay, let's wait for it to boot up. I'll get it signed in and then I'll pick back up so we can give you guys first impressions. All right guys, so got the phone all set up. It's right here. And I gotta tell you, first impressions of this phone are really good so far. So let's get into it. So first of all, the screen right here, it's actually a really nice screen. I'm a big fan of the fact that they decided to put the, uh, punch hole in the center this year versus last year where they had it on the left side. So that is, I think, a pretty big improvement. Um, let's talk about the fingerprint reader because that is actually the first thing I noticed and it's super fast. Like as soon as I put my finger on there, it's just, it's unlocked. It's basically instantaneous, which is amazing. I've also got this finger set up. I'm not sure how good that one is because I didn't do a great job setting it up, but yeah, no, it works really well. It additionally does have face unlock. I haven't tried it yet so i think it's good yeah it's it does work um if you want to use face unlock i would definitely recommend using the fingerprint reader any more than that because that is first of all more trustworthy and second of all if you're still wearing a mask that is something that face unlock is just not as convenient um one other thing that i noticed i've actually <laughs> this is the second time of me recording this there were actually a couple additional apps built into this there's what i would call bloatware so for example, booking.com was installed on this. Uh, there was a Microsoft news app that was built into this and there was some mobile game. But good thing, you can uninstall all of them. As you can see, this is actually a pretty clean version of Android. So the only things that I see on here that may annoy some people, um, Facebook is pre-installed. If, if you don't want it, you can still uninstall it. So if you go to app info, you can see uninstall. I think most people will be fine with Facebook being installed. Uh, Netflix is also pre-installed. Again, I think most people will be fine with those two apps. Um, they do have this game box app, which I believe is just a way to um, have like a game section. So if you're a gamer, you can game there. I don't know. I don't play a lot of mobile games, but that is an option there. Of course, you have a ton of Google apps, which most things have that built in. The only other like apps that I see on here, are, like this music app, um, it's kind of nice. I, I know there's some people that really like to have a built-in music player if you want to store local files. I'm not one of those people. I stream most of my music. I know it's it's what it is, but um, we also have this Notes app, which is a their own version of Notes app, and it looks pretty well featured. I usually just use Keep just because of the fact that it's backed up everywhere and it's through Google, which is just makes things easier. But that is there. Um, you also have a video player built into it, which is not surprising. It says TCL, of course. And then, of course, you have a weather app, which, while using the app, sure, which will uh, get us the weather. And it actually, it's a pretty good looking app, I would say. Yeah, pretty nice looking. Um, one thing, let's go ahead and change this over to dark mode. Now, this is an LCD display, but I would say it's actually a really nice LCD display. I have no problem with this display. Um, let me go ahead and turn it on. So yeah, we'll just have dark mode. There we go. Now, as you can see, a brightness level. This, uh, it's really hard to pick up on camera, I'm sure, but this is actually a really bright display. Like, I would have, I think, no problem seeing this in sunlight. It's actually a surprisingly good display. Uh, the LCD, I mean, it is LCD versus OLED, so you're not gonna get those true, true blacks. But let me compare it to last year's model. I'm not sure how big of a difference. I'll just have to tell you guys what it feels like to me because I don't think you guys will be able to see on camera which one's brighter. The colors may look actually pretty washed out because of just how bright they are. I'll go ahead and turn it back down. Yeah, as you guys can see. But yeah, um, I, I actually really, really like the display. It looks really good. Uh, speakers, so or I should say speaker. It's a single bottom firing speaker and it just sounds okay. 
Um, I think TCL, again, considering they're known for TV manufacturing and all that, you think they would put a little bit more into the speakers, but they really haven't done that. I think they just find that most people don't care. They'll connect it to like headphones anyways and they'll be fine, which by the way, headphone jack here, awesome. You can <laughs> connect up a headphone jack, like a cheap pair of headphones you may have, and it will sound way, way better than the bottom firing speaker on here. Um, next up, let's talk about the cameras. Actually, before we get into that, let's talk about the specs on here. So the specs on here, they are listed in device info here. And let me go ahead and pull up the specs from last year's last year's uh, 10L as well. So one thing these two phones have in common is, uh, they actually have quite a few things in common. So first of all, the processor on both of these phones is the Snapdragon 665, which is a reasonable processor. Like it actually does, performs really well on both of these phones. So that's good. There is no difference between the two. So last year's model had the same exact processor. So you're not gonna get like a performance bump. In fact, you might actually get a bit of a performance hit because of the next fact, which is this phone, the 20S, only has four gigabytes of RAM, whereas the 10L actually had six gigabytes of RAM. Now, in terms of storage, this phone does have double the storage at 128 gigabytes versus 64. But the thing that I would say is because you can actually expand the storage via micro SD card on both of these phones, I would much rather get lower storage, pay a little extra to get more storage, but the RAM is the one thing you can't update. So if four gigabytes of RAM isn't enough, you're kind of stuck there. You have no way to add more RAM to the phone. So I would have much preferred if they give us a six gigabyte model with 120 gigabytes of storage. I think there is a six gigabyte plus 256 gigabyte storage option. I don't know how much more that is. I'll have a link to it in the description below in case you guys are curious, but that is one thing that I'm not a huge fan of the fact that they cut down the uh, RAM to four gigabytes. Um, uh, the thing that I am a huge fan of is that 5,000 milliamp hour battery capacity. Like I am so stoked to test this thing out to see how long it lasts. Like I expect this thing to last for a good amount of time. But yeah, overall, I'm super impressed with what you get with this phone for $250. First of all, a really large display a fingerprint reader that's super, super fast. You do get a 64 megapixel camera, which I don't know, we'll see how in long term how that camera does. Um, you had a headphone jack, you get a case inside of the box, you get also a charger inside of the box, which is something you don't get anymore. And the phone is actually really, really fast. You get a super clean version of Android, Android 11. Uh, Android 12 is coming to this phone. So that's really good as well. Like there really isn't too much to complain about with this phone. I honestly think TCL did a really, really good job with this phone. So yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this video. I will be making more videos about this phone, definitely going over the cameras and um, more about the performance later on, especially with gaming. I'm a little curious how well phones like this do with gaming, because I think that's one of the things that budget phones tend to struggle with. So yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this video. Like, if you like this, subscribe, guys, loved it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.